A whopping 28 million farmers in South China are entirely dependent on the income generated from sugarcane cultivation, and it's pretty reasonable to comment that China's sugar industry is booming at an amazing pace. The demand for sugarcane is shooting up crazily, and it's expected that sugar production should be increased from 10 million tons to 16 million tons by 2030. This dramatic shift in the production yield is necessary because 80 to 90 percent of the sugar is produced from sugarcane. Already, China is the world's third largest sugar producing country and soon can be the second or even leading the list of the largest sugarcane producing country. The majority of sugarcane in China is produced in some prominent provinces like Guangxi, Yunnan, and Hainan. So to meet up the growing demands of sugar in China and eventually lead the list of the world's largest sugar industries, the government as well as farmers should prioritize crop production in an environmentally sustainable way. Let's buckle up to learn some fascinating facts about China's sustainable sugarcane production. The best part about sugarcane cultivation in China is its favorable climatic and soil conditions. It has a humid subtropical climate and ample rainfall is the best suited climate for the cultivation of sugarcane. And it's been several decades now since sugarcane is China's major and strategic crop, especially in southern China. Until the 1980s, there were about 11 varied provinces in China, namely Fujian, Guangdong, Guangxi, Guizhou, Hainan, Hubei, Hunan, Jiangxi, Sichuan, Yunnan, and Zhejiang, which were actively engaged in cultivating sugarcane. Of all these 11 provinces, Guangxi dominates the majority of sugarcane production in China. Not only a major sugarcane producer, but also a major sugar processor is also Guangxi province. Almost 65% of the total sugar produced is processed in this province. Sugarcane cultivation is the key pillar of social and economic development of Guangxi and Yunnan, and it's also the only source of income for many of the regional communities residing in rural areas. From the statistical analysis, China produced about 9 million tons of sugar from 73 million tons of sugarcane harvested. However, it was found that this year's yield was a bit low compared to the yield produced in the previous year. This could be because of the dry season and the cropping season, and also some of the areas in China are prone to drought, and there's also less facility to supplementary irrigation. Which techniques ensure higher sugarcane yields in China? One of the crucial prerequisites which need to be taken care of is of providing an optimum soil environment in the field. Some of the steps like subsoiling or chiseling to a depth of 50 to 75 centimeters, dicing to scatter clouds, plowing, and constructing the trench should be carried out before sowing and cultivating sugarcane in the field. An appropriate drainage channel is also a must for ensuring high-yield sugarcane production. The next important thing which should be taken care of while cultivating sugarcane is harvesting the crop at an appropriate time. The proper time is at peak maturity, and this entire method should be carried out by adopting the right technique, which will ensure minimum field losses in the entire farmland. If this technique is not appropriate, there are chances of low cane yield, sugar recovery, poor juice quality, and problems in milling. When it comes to modernization or integration of machinery in sugarcane cultivation, such as automation, is not a feasible choice. So still, 95% of China's sugarcane production is manually harvested using hand knives or hand axes. Another such tool is a cutting blade, which is a bit heavier but an efficient cutting tool for a cane. This tedious harvesting process demands highly skilled laborers, which in return results in a large amount of labor cost. So even a future sugarcane harvesting will be done through human labor. While the demand for sugarcane has shot up amazingly, and the next important fact to note here is most of the new mills in China have a higher crushing capacity, and even older mills are expanding their capacities, which eventually leads to more demand for sugarcane. Mechanization in these mills is inevitable, and so to meet up the rising demands, China must opt for mechanical harvesting equipment. However, some of the steps during the cultivation of sugarcane are mechanized. In some countries, farmers have adopted mechanized harvesting equipment, which cuts the sugarcane without burning trash, leaving some green leaves on the cane. This is one of the most environmentally friendly practices called green cane trash blanketing, practices in some parts of the world, and also somewhere in China. Adoption of this practice will surely ensure manual harvesting is scrapped up, and now automation will replace this tedious process. Finally, to wrap up, China is still trying varied methods to achieve its goal of sustainable sugarcane cultivation, which will produce high yields. Finally, what are your thoughts on China's sugarcane farming? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching how China found a way to automate sugarcane cultivation, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. 
see you in the next video.